This looks like a mysterious place to me. Look at these scary jail cells with different characters' heads on them. Oh, we have the Joker. I wonder if the Joker's still around. It looks like it's the abandoned Gotham City, said Emmett. But he could use some noises. Before he knew it, Joker smashed through the door. And Emmett didn't realise the Joker was a scary person, and he should be scared of the Joker. So he put his hand out to shake it. And the Joker said, I'm not shaking your hand, Emmett. I'm going to put you into jail forever. No, you're not, said Batman. You leave Emmett alone. He hasn't done anything to you. Oh, no, said Joker. What are you doing here, Batman? Can't you just leave me alone for five minutes? Of course not. As long as you're around, Joker, I'm going to be here to save the day. But Emmett showed the Joker his flashing boot, which was Emmett's trick. Oh no, Joker said. Don't shine that in my eyes. And by Emmett doing that, he had scared the Joker off. And Batman laughed, saying, good work, Emmett. I didn't realise Joker was scared of bright lights like that. And the Joker headed off. I'll be back though, said the Joker. Do you actually think I'm going to leave Emmett get away with this? No way. I'll be back. See you later, said Emmett, as he waved to the Joker away. And Batman said, Emmett, you're really lucky you don't realise how dangerous the Joker can be sometimes. He's a real evil man and you want to stay away from him. No worries, Emmett said. I'll do just that. And if I see the Joker again, I'll make sure to run away. So by Batman showing up and Emmett sticking up for himself, they managed to beat the Joker this time. Don't forget to subscribe, said Emmett. A super criminal, one of the robbers, has stolen a load of money from one of the banks close by. And he's got $200. And he's really happy with his day's work. But he thought he's got away with it. But do we think he's got away with it? I don't think he has. And out of nowhere comes Spider-Man. And he says, hey, stop. And he chucks his web at him. And he manages to wrap him up in his web. You're not going anywhere. You think you can rob this city and get away with it? You've got no chance. So Spider-Man calls for backup. And he says, quick, we need a van. And a van comes along. But this isn't just any van. This is one of the dog vans. And the criminal says, you can't put me in a dog van. We can put you wherever you like. If you break the law, you go back to jail. So they put the handcuffs on him and chuck him in the back of the dog van. Great job, Spider-Man, said the policeman. You've really done a good deed today and helped us out. As the doors closed on the supervillain for good. So Spider-Man managed to save $200 from being in a criminal's hands. And he said, wait, I've left the money behind. Can't leave that at the park. Kids would buy loads of sweets and surprise eggs with that. So Spider-Man jumped on top of the van and off they went to the jail. And it's always a good day when you've saved some money from a criminal. Don't forget to subscribe. At the Gotham City Jail, Batman had managed to catch the Riddler when he was stealing loads of money from a bank. This Riddler loves his money and his gold. But the Riddler was shouting, I'm going to get out of here, Batman. You just watch me. So the Riddler tried to escape from his cell. And before you knew it, he managed to bust out of his cell. But how did he do that? Maybe we'll find out later. So the Riddler said, I'm free. Finally, I'm free. I can get on with my life instead of being stuck in this Gotham City jail. And he could see his car. So he starts to climb down the wall. 
and he manages to jump into his car, but he could see his money on the side. And he said, I'm not leaving that money behind. I worked really hard to get that. So he makes his way over to the money and tries taking the money. But it seems like a lot of money to take on your own with no back seats. So how would he manage it? Meanwhile, the Batman's got really angry because he can see what the Riddler has done. The Riddler has not only just broke his jail, so Batman shouted, Hey Riddler, stop! And then he jumped onto the Riddler. But he managed to miss the Riddler. And now Batman's down, but he gets straight back up. And he says, Oi, Riddler, what do you think you're doing? How did you manage to get out of your cell? Do you really think you're going to get away with it again, Riddler? you already done it to Spider-Man, but you're not doing it to me. So Batman jumps in his bat car. Wow, look how cool that bat car is. And he raises up his bazookas. And he said, right, it's time to get that Riddler. So he shoots at the Riddler. But the Riddler has managed to deploy a bomb from his Riddler car. And he drives off. Would Batman hit it? But Batman can see the bomb at the last minute and he turns around it and off he goes and he chases the Riddler away. But the Riddler comes back for some more money. How cheeky is that? And Batman I couldn't believe when he came back to the Gotham City Jail that he's seen the Riddler again. So he tries to shoot the Riddler and he manages to take his tire out, incapacitating the Riddler. He's finally got him. And he said, I told you, Riddler, you wouldn't get away. And how stupid could you be? You came back to the Gotham City after you got away. That was a schoolboy error. So Batman shuts the jail in the Riddler's face, and he falls over. And Batman laughed, saying, Ha ha ha, Riddler. You, my friend, are very special, and not in a good way. You're going to be spending some special time with this jail. And Batman couldn't believe that the Riddler got out, but he's managed to save the day once again. Don't forget to subscribe. The Bank Truck Robbery Two ex-villains, robbers, bank robbers in fact, planning a heist to steal loads of gold, jewellery and diamonds from a transport truck. So when they finally find it, they jump on it and they say, right driver, pull over. So the driver pulls over and once the driver's out of the way, they can get to work on the truck. So one of them starts opening the back to get the diamonds out. And they said, ha ha, we can finally start to enjoy ourselves with all this gold, money and diamonds. But out of nowhere, Spider-Man showed up and shouted, Oi, you two, what do you think you're doing? And the bank robbers turned around. But Spider-Man shot a web at one of them, managing to tie one of them up. And then he made way to catch the second villain. And the other ones managed to put gold and money in his backpack. And where do you think you're going? Spider-Man said. As he jumped onto the second robber. And he said, right, we need some backup. Quick. So backup arrives shortly that after. On a police bike. And he said, officer, I've managed to catch these two villains in the act. They were trying to steal their gold, money, diamonds and jewellery. Here's the handcuffs, said the officer. So Spider-Man put the handcuffs on the villains. And now they are finally caught. And now it's time to take him to jail, said the policeman. Are you okay to sort this out? But Spider-Man accompanied him anyway. The jails were full. So all they had to do was take him to a transport unit just outside the village and Spider-Man delivered him personally to the transport truck. Now this truck is very safe 
It's got a jail on the back, and it's got armed guards guarding it 24-7. Here you go, Spider-Man said, and use some money, gold, and diamonds I found in their backpack. And the police officer couldn't thank Spider-Man enough. And Spider-Man said, it's all in a day's work for a superhero. The Riddler was in jail after doing a heist on a bank. He had got loads of gold, jewellery and diamonds. And you know who likes gold, jewellery and diamonds, don't you? It's the Joker. So out of nowhere, the Riddler could hear someone climbing around. On top. But it was the Joker. And the Joker said, I'm going to bust you out of here, Riddler. And you're going to give me all of that gold jewellery and diamonds you managed to smuggle the other day and he said I'm not leaving you go unless we agree I'll have the gold when we get out of here and the Riddler was like no I worked really hard to steal that gold and the Joker said right you stay here but the Riddler said all right you can have it just take me out of here quick so before they knew it, the guards, which were underneath the first platform, one guard looked up and said, Look, look, it's the Joker. Where did he come from? So the second guard looked up, and out of nowhere, the Joker had jumped on the first guard and took him out. And the Joker got up and said, Now it's your turn. But the Riddler managed to jump on the second guard. So incapacitating the police officers. So he said, right, let's get these handcuffs on these prison guards. So he managed to tie the both of them up together so they couldn't stop them escaping. You will never get away with this, said the prison guards. We'll just see about that, the Joker and the Riddler said. And again, out of nowhere, came Spider-Man to the rescue. Oh no, the Joker said, as Spider-Man wiped out the Riddler. And he said, you're never going to get away with this again, Joker. I've had enough of you. As he tried to wrap his web around the Joker, the Joker managed to get the better of him, though. And he managed to grab the web and smash Spider-Man up against one of the police cars. Oh no, does this mean the Joker has managed to defeat the Spider-Man? This is not good news. So as the police guards and the Spider-Man were all incapacitated and they couldn't get out there, the Joker laughed and said, Ha ha ha, I'll see you suckers again. But the police and Spider-Man couldn't believe that the Joker had managed to defeat them all this time. But would Spider-Man find the Joker again? Only time will tell. Don't forget to subscribe!
Hey guys, here we have a Marvel Heroes surprise egg. Now this egg is huge compared to the average surprise egg that I have been opening recently. Um, I'm just going to compare it to a Kinder egg for you. And as you can see, it's a giant surprise egg from the Marvel crew. So yeah, as you can see, I'll just bring it into focus so we can see it a little bit better. We've got all the characters on the front there including spider-man there are some of the gifts that you can get um, you can get a spinner puzzle shaped magnets stickers you know and this egg is pretty well it is very big actually <laughs> it's not small by any means so yeah let's uh, get stuck into it let me just focus in on that and then we'll get going so yeah, I'm hoping that we're going to get a few nice surprises in here, but you can never tell, so let's just put that up there, out of the way. And as you can see, it's full of surprises. That's what we can, before we actually look what we have got, that's what you can get. So you can get a badges, key rings, notepads, spinner, stickers, ink stamp, sh shaped magnet, and a tile puzzle so first off we have a ink stamper which basically if you haven't seen one before it's got this coating on the outside of it here you've got to take that off now on the end of there that red you've got a stamp and you just stamp it down and it's just a little bit of fun so that's pretty cool pr price then we've got the marvel tile puzzle so all you do is take this little clip out at the bottom here let's focus in on this one actually so yeah this is a really cool present that act prize actually so yeah you've got to get take this out of the bottom here somehow and as you can see they all move so you can move them around, move them around, and then you've got to put them back together. So that's a really cool prize. Pre surprise, sorry. Then we've got a roll of stickers. Let me just get in here, let's have a little look. So yeah, it's like a film roll of stickers, this one is. So you just have to... Uh, so yeah, that's really nice. As you can see on the roll, the stickers, how do you, it's a little... It's a little sticker in here that we need to take off. So yeah, it's, it's quite a fair few stickers on you actually as well, so... Each one of these are stickers. The roll is endless. It's got to be a good meter on meter or so of uh, stickers on here. I love these stickers, or to um, put on like clear boxes to store the toys in and stuff. So yeah, that's really cool. We got two packs of jelly beans, and we've got a magnet as well so that's the magnet that we got it's a pretty cool magnet so yeah all in all guys really cool surprises in the, in there i love the stickers and i love the i love the stickers and the the titled uh, puzzle on the end also some jelly beans to have a little munch on later so yeah guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, subscribe to the channel, give me any comments or any feedback would be great. I look forward to doing another video very soon. Thanks for watching guys. Hey guys, welcome to another surprise video. Today we're going to take a look at some Marvel Heroics. And we have 10 today to take a look at. We're in search of some rare characters. And hopefully we'll find one today. If we get one out of these, I'll be really happy. If not... We'll try again.
but let's give it a go and see what we find. So in the first one we have Wolverine, which is probably one of my favourite characters out of the series. They're just really cool. So let's take a look at the green one. And we have Thor, which is one I actually needed as well, which is really nice. Yeah, that's really cool. The detail on these is really nice as well. So let's go into the yellow one. And we have our first Spider-Man. The Spider-Mans are really cool because the, the actual positions that are in are quite unique. You know, no, none of the other ones are bending down and stuff. So, let's look into the white bar. And we have... A Captain America. This is one I needed as well. Which is really nice. Oh yeah, I'm well chuffed to that one. That's really cool. You can see the detail on them is spot on. Really nice detail. Let's leave him running to Spider-Man there. So let's take a look at our first blue. So yeah, let's take a look and see what we get in our first blue one. And hopefully... Oh, very cool. We got Wolverine again. But in a different position this time. Which is really cool. We'll put him there. Really nice. I really like the Wolverine characters. Look amazing. So let's go into the white one. And see what we have. And oh, we got our first Hulk. Look at that. I love Hulk. Hulk is, you know, definitely in my top two or three favourites. You know, that's amazing. Looks great. I love the detail on the muscles on the back. Really nice. Come on, where's these rare ones? It's bound to be a rare one here somewhere. Wolverine. Really cool. Wolverine again. So we've got two, we had four Wolverines in ten eggs. Which is amazing. But it's really hit or miss when you pick these up. You can't, like, the, each colours don't, you know, match up to the characters every time. Oh yes, come on, look at that. It's in there. So we have ourselves a rare Spider-Man. As you can see, clear one is is super rare, really nice. Let me see if I can make out what it says on the bottom. No, it doesn't say anything on the bottom. But we got a rare one, which is great news. That's fantastic. Let's put him in front. And let's take a look at our last surprise egg and see what we get. If this was a rare one, now that would make... My day. Oh, we got Thor again. But that's really good. I'm really happy with that because we got our rare one that we was looking for. And as you can see, you know the collection there for ten surprise eggs is amazing. And these are the two. This is the rare one. The clear one is the rare one here. And this is the normal one. So this is the common one here. They're both doing the exact same pose, but obviously this clear one here, oh, this clear one here, is the super rare one. So keep an eye out for him, which is really cool. And this is the normal one. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below well, who was your favourite character from this video. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time.
guys welcome to another surprise video today we're going to take a look at one kinder surprise egg and we're also going to take a look at three thomas and friends eggs and i've picked out three thomas eggs all wrapped in the thomas colors so let's get stuck in and have a look now i love these eggs this is a really nice thomas collection to have i love this packaging as well it's really cool really nice the chocolate's really good too so let's see what we get so in the first egg we have let's, have let's put the camera down let's see what we have and we have number four let's just put that there so you can see it in nice detail so yeah let's show you that there there's the list some really nice characters there to collect all the main characters really cool as you can see and here's our little garden let's see if we can get close up this is quite a rare one as well you don't i haven't had him a lot in these particular eggs unfortunately but as you can see really nice detail really cool so let's take a look at our first kinder surprise of this video and see what we get hopefully we'll get some Monsters University figure would be ideal, but you can never tell. And I think we might have just done it. So we might have a Monsters University figure in here. You always hope for them. And we have! Look at that! Unbelievable. Let me know this guy's name in the box below if you know it from Monsters University. Really cool. Got his glasses on. I'll show you the, the characters list there so as you can see that's a bit of luck there getting monsters university after i said but as you can see he's up there and there he is on the back as well really cool love a bit of monsters university especially from the kinder surprise so let's take a look at our second thomas surprise egg and see what we can find it'd be nice to get james or Harold actually. Harold's a really cool figure. Let's see who we have. So there's our character. Let me know this guy's character's name in the box below. A really nice one again. Look at the detail on it. Fantastic. Really cool. Even gone to the detail of putting the wheels in. Really lovely display. Items. So let's take a look at our last and final Thomas prize egg of this video. And let's hope Harold, come on, call it Harold. Let's get Harold out. Oh, we got a r blue train. Who do we have? Number two. Look at that. Again, fantastic detail. Really nice. Now this is a really nice collection. We've got four different surprises as well which is always a bonus which is fantastic look at that really nice so yeah guys let me know in the comments below who was your favorite surprise from this video as always guys if you haven't comment subscribed and liked please do all that good stuff because it really helps me out thanks for watching hope everyone's having a fantastic day and i'll see you next time Hey guys, welcome to another surprise video. Today we're going to take a look at seven surprise eggs. We have Shrek, Hello Kitty, Monsters University, Skylanders Giants, we've got Thomas and Friends, we've got another Hello Kitty from Sanrio, and we also have our favourite, the Kinder Surprise Egg. So let's take a look at our first egg, which is going to be the Shrek egg, as you can see. And let's see we can find I really want the gingerbread man in this one but let's have a look and see who we have and we have the puss in boots character characterine really these are really nice collection this is we have a few stickers as always and we have the collection that gingerbread man is tough cookie to catch can't quite get him can we but we'll try our best next time 
so yeah and we also get some sweets as well which is pretty cool uh, let's take a look at our second surprise egg which is the super surprise hello kitty egg this is one of my favorite surprise eggs just a, it's just a really nice collection of the sweets and we have the collection let's take a look at that as you can see it's a vast collection there we have our character there we've got a little hello kitty holding a little green apple which is really cute and we have a few stickers as well some hello kitty stickers which are really cool and let's see what we have in our monsters university surprise egg today got mike and sally there on the front and hopefully gonna get something pretty cool in here so let's see now these sweets are really nice if you get a chance to try these give them a whirl and we have this we i've had this before and i can't remember what it's for so let me know if anyone knows what this is for could be to go on top of a book or i'm not 100 percent sure what that's actually for but I'm sure when it, someone will tell me what it's for. So we have a sticker as well, which is art, which is really nice. And let's take a look at our Skylanders Giants surprise egg. It's probably one of my, probably the nicest egg with the graphics on the front of that. Just really nice graphics on it. Really cool. You know, we have the jelly beans in this one, which is really cool. We have some stickers with the characters on there. As you can see which is really nice we also have the collection of supr different surprises you can get in there i love those little notepads really cool and we have a badge in this one with a character on the front be afraid of the bark that's what that one says that's pretty cool and let's see what we have in our hello kitty chocolate surprise egg today which is these eggs are not available anymore i think they discontinued now but i still got a few to go through but it comes with two different chocolates on it which is really nice and as you can see it gets stuck to the capsule which uh, makes a messy opening but it's all good fun and let's see what we have inside so we have our ring so let's just put the chocolate over there out of the way so we have the ring with hello kitty on the front really nice little ring pretty cool and the collection as you can see comprises of a few rings and a couple of characters as well 36 figures to collect and many rings that's pretty nice we have a look at our kinder surprise next which is probably everyone's favorite surprise egg so let me know in the comments below what's your favorite surprise egg doesn't have to be in this video but i'd like to know what you guys like to see being opened so we have one of the special kinder eggs with some with a special toy in it and we have mike look at that yes we got mike Oh yes, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Can't believe we got Mike. That's fantastic. Look at that. I, I've been wanting to get Mike as well from the Monsters University Kinder Collection for a while. Really nice detail. It's a really nice collection as well, this Monsters University from the Kinder Surprises. As you can see. Which is really nice. It's a pretty cool collection. And our last egg of this video is going to be our Thomas and friends with Thomas on the front of it chocolate surprise egg and let's see what we have we have number six we have number six there I'll leave you guys telling me the character's name in the box below as always so like it like that so yeah guys Please let me know in the comments below what was your favourite surprise toy 
from this video and as always if you haven't commented, subscribed and liked please do all that good stuff because it really helps me out hope everyone's having a fantastic day thanks for watching and i'll see you next time Hey guys welcome to another surprise video today we're going to take a look at four surprise eggs we have a spider-man surprise egg we have pepper the pig we have kinder surprise and we also have toy story which is one of my favorites so let's take a look at our spider-man egg first and see what we have inside now i like this i hope we get some dog tags in here which are possible to get obviously spider-man it's a lot of people's favourite, but we get these cool star-shaped 
sweets in the f in the first place we get the sticker let me know that guy's character's name in the box below if you happen to know and we have a yo-yo with a sandman on the front of it this is a really cool little yo-yo as you can see really nice really cool and as you can see the collections full of neat little stuff like like yo-yos you got sweatbands you've got some shooters you've got some key rings some magnets you know really cool stuff so let's take a look at our pepper the pig surprise egg and see what we have in there i love the front of this looks really cool so let's get stuck in and see what we have hopefully i'd like a little pepper the pig little notebook would be cool but we get some jelly beans in that one which is really cool we get some cool stickers and you know I love stickers if you watch me regular and there's the list of things that you can get in this particular surprise egg from Peppa the Pig and we have a ring this time don't ask me what size it is but let's see if we can see what's on it Peppa the Pig with a crown really cute cool little ring so let's take a look at our surprise kinder surprise egg and this is one of the new ones as well so we have some of the new collections that's available at the moment and there's a particular Porsche collection which I wouldn't mind I would love to complete that set but we shall see we'll see what we get but we got some more chocolate just put that over there and we have a animal sticker book or it's like a sticker page so what, what you do is you stick you stick the cards on here like so and then you, you it tells you information like how much a tiger weighs what it eats how long it is and things like that so let's do that and see what it looks like so there we go guys it just stuck all the stickers on now and as you can see it totally transforms the little kinder magic natunes thing and it's got a couple of my favorite animals of all time on here like the black panther it eats meat obviously it's two meters long which is quite long and it weighs 70 kilos but it's got also got the lions up here look the lions can weigh 250 kilos which is a lot <laughs> and it's 1.2 meters wide uh, long sorry and we have the tiger which is 3.5 meters long and it could weigh up to 300 kilos now they are my favorite and i'm a leo anyway because my birthday is in august so that's a lion so yeah that's pretty cool and on the back we've got a snake and a few birds and a little cheeky fox but that's really nice you know informative and it looks the part as well brilliant you know and i love things like that as well because it always teaches you things you might not know so let's take a little look at the the uh toy story surprise egg and hopefully we'll get something cool in here It'd be nice to get a toy story whistle would be nice Oh, but we got some cookies in here. Well, one cookie. <laughs> and we have a Toy Story little sweatband. And it goes, it's a bit too small for me, but as you can see, it is to go on your hand. And that's going to be, that's loads of fun, isn't it? You know? Doesn't cost much, but loads of fun. And that particular one's not even on this on this list. Look, the red banner. It's got an orange banner on it. But if you look at that, that's the one we had. And it's not even on the list. So that's a bit of a mystery. So, but that's really got some really cool stuff in that uh, particular egg. And we also got a Buzz Lightyear sticker as well, as you can see. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below what was your favourite surprise from this video. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.
Hey guys, welcome to another surprise video. Today we're going to take a look at three chocolate surprise eggs. We have two Toto surprise eggs and we also have one Kinder surprise egg. So let's take a look at our first Toto egg, which, you know, one of the Toto eggs are really nice. If you haven't tried them, you really need to find them and try them somewhere because they are gorgeous. But yeah, and some of the surprises are so, you know, so much different to the Kinder Eggs. You know, it's definitely worth giving a go. So, let's see what we have today. The chocolate is more of a dark chocolate as well. So, you know, bear that in mind. If you do like dark chocolate, they're definitely worth getting. If you don't, you should try it anyway. So yeah, let's take a look and see what surprise we have. So we have some sort of... What's that? That's some sort of tree. Let's have a look at the little leaflet here and see what we have. So as you can see, there's six different steps to putting this together. So it's not as simple as the Kinder Eggs to put together. And we have a lizard in a tree, which is, can you see that there? Which is really cool. So I'm going to put that together now and let's see what it looks like. So there we go guys, I just put it together now. Probably took about, I don't know, not, not very long minute two minutes maybe so basically what, what happens is i'll show you the back so the back and you've got this spinner which which if you watch his eye if you can watch his eye there his eye changes color so whoop. it's hard to do this with one hand but there we go you can see his eye changing color which is really cool you know it's a really different surprise as well isn't it from the kinder eggs you normally get so let's take a look at our second Toto egg and see what we have in here. Hopefully we'll get... They do do cars and stuff in these eggs as well. Like little movable cars and, and the wheels move and everything, which is really cool. But we'll uh, see what we get in this one. Let's have a little look. See what we have. So as you can see, most of the toys in the Toto eggs that you get, you do have to assemble yourself. And there's eight different different steps here to put this one together. And I'm going to put this, it's some sort of spaceship or something, there it is there. So I'm going to put this one together and let's see what this one looks like. So there we have it guys, I put this one together. This one was a little bit more trickier than the other ones. It took me at least three minutes to put this one together. It was like a little bit of elastic band inside which was... Um, bit of a nightmare to put together but as you can see it's together now and it's basically a spaceship so I've got the little holes on top where everyone can see out of and what happens is you push the back end in and then this the blade on the front so you use it like this so the front bit spins I know it's hard to pick that up on camera but the front bit spins which is really cool you know, it's a really nice, different toy to what you get in the Kinder Eggs again, as I say. So, let's take a little look at the Kinder Egg and see what we get in this one. Hopefully we'll get a toy. That's pretty cool. Hopefully a Monsters University toy would be really cool. Because they do an M in the Kinder Eggs at the moment. So, But we haven't got one of them. We've got, let's see what we got. And we've got... I don't normally like these toys, but I've got to say, these are this is the Porsche one, and the Porsche one is very cool. So what we have is a, a holographic, which as you can see there, got all the Porsches, Porsche 911s, GT3s, KN, you know, all, all of them on there. So what you do, we have these, which this is the Porsche... You know, it's like a holographic, so all you do is you do that, and then it turns. So that's the blue convertible Porsche, which is really cool. And we have the Porsche 911 GT3, which is personally one of my favorite cars. Wish I could have one of them. That would be nice. But yeah, the ho these holographics are really cool. So there we go, we've got the, the Cayman, I think this is, or the Cayenne, Cayenne. Or however this is pronounced. There, look, looks really, really cool. And then we have the last one, which is a nice white one. As you can see, 
Now these holographics are really cool. So what you do is you stick them on the card. But I'm not going to do that now because it's better to leave them on their own, I think. Because on the card, they just look like, you know, you get them all going at once. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below which one was your favourite. And let me know if you've actually tried the Toto eggs. And if you prefer them to the Kinder eggs. I know the toys are a lot different, so let me know how you feel about that. If you haven't subscribed, comment and liked, guys, please just do all that good stuff because it really helps me out. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hey, guys, welcome to another surprise video. Today, we're going to take a look at two Kinder Surprise eggs, and we also have two. So let's get stuck in and take a look at our first Kinder Surprise egg. Now, these are the new ones, and there's some fantastic collections to be had in these new kinder surprises out and there is a porsche collection which i would love to collect or to complete even maybe i've got one of the cars which would be really nice so let's take a little look down and see what our first vehicle is so the first one we have is a blue sprinty car now these are ultra cool as well look at that so we've got the blue one. Now that's really cool that is, look at that. Really nice, so let's put it together and see what it looks like. Now these new collections, as I say, are really nice. They just need a little bit of assembly, but that doesn't take too long normally. So let's just take a look and see what this looks like. We have the front and the back, so there it is. There's our first sprinty car, looking really cool, really nice, as you can see. And you also get a little shooter as well, which is really cool. They don't, to be honest, the shooter doesn't work fantastic. It does work, obviously, but it doesn't work as good as it could. So let's take a look at our first Toto egg of this video. Now, if anyone hasn't seen these before, check out some of my other videos, but... I do have a collection of them so let's take a look and see what we have here now Toto eggs do require a lot of assembly most of the time and we have a cool fish look at that but there that is amazing so let's put that together six parts to put it together so there we and have the little, little fish like. and as you can see the little mouth moves they were supposed to be little eyes you stick on the front you in the packet but i didn't get them so that's a bit unfortunate but still rather cool and as you can see it's just a little fish little piranha actually that's really nice actually it takes about five minutes to put it together and that's brilliant so let's take a look at our second kinder surprise egg hopefully we'll get one of them porsches that i'd love to show you guys but we'll see what we get you can never tell And you can also get girls ones as well, which are really cool, with some of the female variety of stuff inside. So let's take a look and see what we get. Hopefully, it'll be... Oh, we've got a different sprinty car this time. Very nice. Oh, we got a Hot Wheels car, sorry. Look at that. Hot Wheels. Love that. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that. This we got a couple of Hot Wheels there to collect. Six different Hot Wheels to collect. Unbelievable. Look at this. Let's put him in there. Look at that. I love the Hot Wheels cars. Takes me back to when I used to play with them as a, as a little kiddie. But that's really cool. It's really nice. So we also get some cool stickers as well to stick on here so let's just stick a couple on and we get the two front ones here so these go on here like this now this goes on that side really nice you know you, you gotta love Hot Wheels haven't you? you know it's just one of them things that every kid loves when they're growing up and to put it in a Kinder Egg is very special indeed. So let's take a quick look at that. Closer look. Look at that. Lovely. Right, let's take a quick look at our last 
Nestle Toto Surprise Egg. Let's see what we have. Hopefully, we'll get. You can actually get cars as well in these Toto eggs. I've, I don't think I've ever had one, but I know it's possible. So we have. Look at that. Don't know what this is. Oh. We have. Is it a finger puppet? Is it? No, it's just a ball of fur. Oh no, it's a little finger puppet. Look at that. Oh yes, that's brilliant. Hello. Oh, we got a little dog. Look. Hello. Let's zoom in. Hello. How are you? Hello. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty cool. It hasn't got any eyes, unfortunately. I don't think so. No, really nice. I feel it's pretty good. Look at that. That's brilliant. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below what was your favourite surprise from this video. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Thanks for watching, as always. And I'll see you next time. And our little dog will see you next time as well. Ciao for now. Hey guys, welcome to another surprise video. Today we're going to take a look at some surprise Hello Kitty stuff from Sanrio. We have two gacha balls from Hello Kitty and we also have a surprise box and we also have a surprise Hello Kitty pack as well. So let's take a look at the pack first and see what we have here. As you can see, each pack contains two rings inside. You can see the rings there. We have the collection on the back here, at the top, so there's uh, like a see-through one, a, wh a white one, and a solid colour one, all different faces on them. Really nice little collection. So let's take a little look and actually see what we get inside the bag, which would be pretty cool. And let's see what we have. So as you can see, we get the two rings. And we also have this little booklet as well, which is really nice. So we have the different color. There's three of the collections, and there's another three. So there's six different lots of collections to collect. Twelve different rings in total. All look pretty cool, actually. So let's take a look at the rings themselves and see what we have. So we have a, a cool purple one. We have a purple ring with Hello Kitty's face on it with a little diamond at the top on the right hand side and we have a little white solid coloured one with a flower which is really nice actually, really nice little collection so our first gacha ball gacha box, this one's called Hello Kitty it's called a pom pom dangly which is uh, quite a catchy little name if I do say so myself so we get a, a nice little white capsule now this collection is pretty nice actually, you know, if you can complete this. So this is the the dangler that we actually get. So you get a, it's basically a key ring, or you can go on your, like, a, on your pencil case, phone, you know, it could go on whatever you want really. But as you can see, it's got a really nice enameled Hello Kitty tag there, and you get the pom-pom as well, which is pretty cool. And the collection, basically the collection comes with different coloured pom-poms and different faces, different Hello Kitty faces, which is really nice. We have, next, is the Hello Kitty Scented Memories Gacha Ball, or Surprise Egg, whatever you want to call it, really, quite hard to get into these ones. Now, these ones are pretty cool, we have show the collection first there's the collection so there is six to collect all different colors and basically they are a metal tin which you can either collect stuff in or it is actually a scented thing so these little white things are scented they smell like you know, strawberry to me but so inside that one we get another one so we've got the big Hello Kitty one and this little one and these white hearts go inside here 
Now this is to put these in here and you can put this then in your bag and then you can just the scent will come out the back through the little hearts which is really cool and then you also got this little little box as well which is quite nice so it's pretty nice so you get two of them which is pretty cool and this last but not least is one of my favorite Hello Kitty surprise boxes let's take a look in here and see what we find just gonna have to cut that down there because it's hard to get in there so that's the box come flying on so there we got a collection list we have our stuff so we got three these are little sweets hello kitty sweets so we got three of them we got a little character little hello kitty with the mini baby hello kitty really nice and the collection it's a really nice little collection this is it's only 12 to collect in total but as you can see it's a really nice collection so yeah guys, let, please let me know in the comments below which was your favourite surprise from this video. If you haven't commented, subscribed and liked, please do all that good stuff because it really helps me out. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day and I'll see you next time.
ice cream making set and the idea is you make your own ice cream but it's in the form of candy so it doesn't melt or anything of that nature and as you can see on the box we got these really ca cool characters on the box and you get cornets inside you get the boat you get the mixing jugs you get the powders that you need the only thing you actually need with these sets are is the water to add into the jugs but we'll take a look at the pack that you get inside the box so you get this really cool pack with these cool characters on on the box and the bag pack so let's take a look inside and see what we get so the first thing we can see is we get this cool mixing tray which has a multiple of purposes really we get the powders that's the pink powder we get the sprinkles and we get the white powder we also get the the bag to put in the powder after we've mixed it and we also get these cool cornets and these taste really nice as well so we get two of everything we get one boat two wafers and two cornets as you can see and you can you can make it you know the, the box gives you an idea of how you could make them for example but you can be as creative as you want with it really so what we're going to do is mix up some of the powders so what we're going to do is cut that off and this is the measuring jug for it so all you've got to do is fill that little thing measuring jug up with water so just put some water in it just fill it up to the top obviously not too full but just to the top and then pour them in each section So once the water's in each section, you can then add your powders. Now it doesn't have to go in any other way. You can put it in whichever way you want to. So the best thing to do is just shake the packet a little bit to get all the powder down to the bottom and then snip the corners. So we'll do that. Obviously the scissors doesn't come with the kit. So then you put that in there and then you mix the powder up. You know, it mix is quite easy as well it doesn't uh, you want it you don't want it too runny so just put in you know you can add it you can always add water but you can never take away water so just get this is the consistency you want and it will go hard quite quickly not hard but it'll go firmer so what you want to do is just keep a little bit of water on hand so then when it does go hard you can just add a little little bit of water to it because you've got to mix the two colors then add the colors into the bag so once you've done that all you have to do then is mix the other color which is the white one which is really nice so just snip the end again pour it in and when I opened that I thought it was going to be blue because it's got the blue writing on it and everything but it is actually a white consistency that's pretty good as you can see your mix is really easy you don't have to mess about with it too much and once you've mixed the two up all you have to do then is get your bag and this acts as a funnel it's a piping bag it's called but what you do is you get your, your mix you put the pink in one side of the bag it is a little bit tricky and a bit messy so don't worry about it just get it in there and then you've got to push it down obviously and then once that's pushed in you know, get all your mix out of the thing don't leave anything behind So once the pink's in the one side, all you want to do then is scoop up some of the white. So 
some of the white stuff. You don't need to clean your spoon or anything. Just scoop the white up. Put it in the other side. It is pretty sticky and, you know, not messy really. Just, just a little bit awkward to do it. So once you've done that, then get all the excess up as well so you're not missing anything out. And once that's done, just squeeze the top of it together like an envelope. And once you squeeze in it, just push down slightly. You'll get a little bit come out of the top. Well, I did, as you can see. But we'll just eat that out of the way. <laughs> and then once this is pushed down, this is when the fun begins. But it's a really cool idea to make your own edible gummy ice cream. So once it's at the bottom like that, you'll get a little air pocket at the bottom. And then you snip the end. You know, snip the end of it. Uh, you can snip it, you know, if you if there is a line there to snip it at. Um, I snipped it just above the line. Just to get a, th a slightly thicker consistency out of it. So what we're going to do is take our wafers now. We're going to cut two in half. Like that, because we're going to make a big ice cream sandwich at the end. So all you do is fill this up here just so it doesn't take up all the mix really and then all you've got to do once you've hit it over a few times you just you can use your imagination then and as you can see we're just gonna we're just gonna squeeze the mix out of the bag onto the the base of the little boat. I like to call it a little boat anyway. And as you can see it's coming out white and pink which is perfect. That's exactly what you want. So once you've done that you can just put it you can you can do whichever way you want. You don't have to do it this way. This is the way I like to do it. So we put that to the side and then we'll get a little little wafers. And then all we're going to do is just spread an even amount onto the base. Squish, squish the second wafer on top and then do the same again. And it doesn't have to be a lot on top because you've got a lot in the middle. So put the third one on. So you've got like a tower, a tier of three different wafers. So that's really cool. So let's do one of the ice cream cones and see how these come out. It's quite tricky to hold this for the camera and squeeze it all on, but we get in there doing a good job. So as you can see, look at that, it comes out perfectly. And the taste, guys, honestly, if you get a chance to buy this set, it's definitely worth buying because it's hard to explain how they taste, but they are really, really nice. So they're definitely worth trying if you can get your hands on on them, you know. And with ice, with um, summer coming as well, it's definitely worth a go. As you can see, you just come into the la the end of the last cone, and the last thing to do then, once you've done all this hard work, is to put your favourite sprinkles on. Now you could use ones from the shop. You don't have to use ones that's in the kit. But all I do is just set them up like this cut the packet open and just sprinkle them on you don't need to place them on by hand because you're going to eat them anyway so just chuck a load on enjoy eating them and then everyone's a winner so yeah guys let me know in the comments below what you think about this set candy making set hope everyone's having a fantastic day as always and i'll see you next time emmet had come across the Gotham City. Oh, what do we have here? said Emmett. This looks like a mysterious place to me.
guys hope everyone's all right we've got a special kinder surprise egg today for everyone we've got six kinder surprise eggs from the simpsons so hopefully we'll find one or two characters in the eggs as well so let's just take a little look at the actual box itself just to uh so you can see what's going on as you can see you'll see the characters as we go around now um this character's on the top there as well uh one in three will contain a figure so i'm hoping we got six eggs so i'm hoping uh we'll get at least two figures from the simpsons so let's not hesitate to get into them let me just zoom in so i have to get these shipped in as well so one of the eggs is broke not in this particular one but as you can see the eggs are just as normal really um, and let's get into them the first egg see what we get hopefully we'll get Bart Simpson or Homer which will be nice but first things first we have a polar bear which is pretty cool Hopefully he won't bite my hand off. I'm sure he won't. He looks pretty innocent. So yeah, that's the little polar bear we got, which is pretty cool. Um, they're re really well detailed as well. You know, all the all the Kinder toys um, from the Nattoons and stuff like that are really well detailed. So that's the collection. We have a few collections, a uh, few from that collection. There's one or two. I haven't got that penguin up there. But that's our little polar bear. So let's go on to egg number two. Come on, Bart Simpson, where are you? Homer's uh, quite a nice character to get as well, if we could get him. But uh, we'll see. So in our second egg, we have a... What is it? It is a... I'm not sure. So we've got some pictures and oh, i know it's like a stencil uh thing i'll show you i won't actually put this one up for you but that's what we got so basically you put it on one side and then you draw on the other side so you get an exact image of what you did get which is pretty cool and we're not going to do that because that'll take it too much time and we're on a limited time at it so let's go into our third egg and our final egg for box one. Hopefully this will have our character in it from The Simpsons. And we've got our Lisa from The Simpsons. She's now clipped on. We also have the list as well, which as you can see we got Marge, Lisa, Homer, Mr. Burns, Maggie. Millhouse, Nelson and Bart at the bottom. So that's a really good collection actually. Um, hopefully we'll get, I'd love to get Homer or Bart in the next box. So let's have a little look in our next box. Now we've already got one egg that's bust up in here which is unfortunate as you can see but that's the actual um, figurine as well so let's go for egg number four see what we got we've got a racer which is pretty cool we've got a sprinty we've got the red one As you can see so let's just put him together there basically the top just goes on like so clips on and this does click in and push it along Oop. so that goes on there like that which is a really nice uh, bit of kit actually right then let's go into egg number five see what surprise we got a load of chocolate for today for the weekend 
and egg number five contains a huge plane. I love these planes, they are massive. As you can see, there's a lot of instructions to go with it. And then that's the outcome there. So yeah guys, I just put it together now and it takes about probably the best part of five to ten minutes to put it together tidy. Um, obviously it's, it's these plastic bits it is that the actual wings themselves are rolled up when you get them and obviously you need to fold them uh, so they stay outright which is the difficult part but you know you get the idea it's quite a big plane as well do you know what I mean it's, it's you know the same you know a little bit bigger than the box which is probably about three and a half four inches long but I've I've thrown these outside and they do go you know go a good way so they're great fun for anyone really especially if you love kinder surprises like myself so yeah let's go into the box now and get the one that's broke so that's what happened in transit <laughs> that's fine though do you know what I mean I don't mind at all just saves me opening the wrapper um, and let's see what one we get who have we got we've got our Homer Oh yes, he's one. He's the one I wanted most out of everyone, really. Just because he's playing bowl, just because he's bowling. I just love the fact he's bowling. It's awesome. But look at that. <laughs> That's amazing. Up, oh, let me push him together tidy. So yeah, look, as amazing. You know, they're really well detailed, as you can see, and you know they should make these all over the world not just in certain parts but hey up i don't mind shipping things over if i need to so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this little unboxing um i thought i'd bring you the simpsons i seen it myself and i got quite excited so i thought you know if i get excited by it i'm sure a couple more people will enjoy it um we've also had two uh the simpsons figures a big flight plane and a Nat Toons car and a polar bear as well so all in all guys six eggs two boxes fantastic if you enjoyed the video guys please subscribe to the channel as I do regular videos and give me a comment in the box below thanks for watching guys have a great day and I'll see you next time
Hey guys, welcome to another surprise video and today it's Christmas Day. So Merry Christmas everyone. We're going to take a look at three Kinder Surprise eggs today and two Thomas and Friends eggs, which I can't wait to get stuck in. Bit of chocolate on Christmas Day. So let's look at the first Kinder Surprise egg. And I managed to find a few with these blue tops on them recently because they've stopped making them now. So if you find the ones with blue on them, they are not making them anymore. They've got just the clear packaging ones out now, which is really cool. I like the clear ones because the, they got new collections in them. But these have got some of the collections that I needed to collect. So we have a little kangaroo, which is really nice. You can see his little pouch as well there, which is really cool. We get like a little background as well in cardboard for him. Which is really nice. Now this collection is a really cool collection to collect like I've got a couple on there but I do need to collect a few more so let's take a look at our first Thomas and Friends Thomas egg now this these eggs are really popular really some really cool surprises inside we've got some really nice stuff to collect so let's see what we get And we have whoop, number three. If you know this character, let me know his name in the box below. Now the detail on these Thomas and Friends characters is really nice. You know, for the size and it's a surprise egg. Really cool. Looking happy. So let's just have a look at the collection. So there's the collection. Really nice. Harold is the rarest one in that collection from my experience. So let's take a look at the second surprise egg, Kinder Egg. So yeah guys, if you had loads of Christmas chocolate, let me know what you had. So we have a thrower. So this works. This is a nice collection if you can, can if you can get them all because there's a few cool patterns to collect. But it works like this. You just fold it over like this. You can fold it over whichever way you want, the cat side or the green side. And then all you do is thread it through the hole here, like so. And you have a thrower. And then you go outside and you throw that. And it goes pretty far as well, trust me on that one so yeah let's take a look at Percy's surprise egg and see what we get hopefully we, Harold would be nice we haven't got Harold but we've got Thomas the tank engine really nice I really like Thomas from our collection. So let's take a look at our last and final surprise egg from this video. Which is the Kinder Surprise. Hopefully we're going to get a, a nice toy in this one. Saying that, our, our first two Kinder Surprises were pretty cool. So we have a little buggy. Oh, I love these buggies. Sprinty buggy it is. And we got the blue one, which I've never had before. Which is that one there. Which is look at look how cool that looks. So let's build that. So the seat goes on there like this. And then we put the roll cage on. This will keep you safe. a bit fiddly these are so as you can see look at that look at the detail on that really cool really nice so yeah guys i hope everyone has a fantastic christmas day as always guys thanks for watching hope everyone's going to have a really really nice christmas i hope everyone got what they wanted let me know in the comments below who your favorite surprise was from this video and i'll see you next time